Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to determine the line of symmetry given a graph. Line of symmetry, or otherwise called the axis of symmetry, is an imaginary line that passes through the graph and divides it into two identical halves. So in this example that we have here, uh, we are going to determine what, where is that line such that if we draw that line, it will divide this graph into two equal parts. So looking at this picture, the line of symmetry should sit here. So this is going to be our line of symmetry. So I'm going to draw a broken line for this. This represents the line of symmetry. This is true because if we were to uh, cover the first half of this graph and if we match it up on the other half, so that's the first half, and this is the other half, which means that this line actually divides this graph into two equal uh, parts. So I actually have here a, um, a patty paper to better uh, show us uh, what the line of uh, symmetry is. So looking at this, the, the, it, it exactly matches up with the original picture that we have. If we were to fold this patty paper this way, both branches of this graph from this line of symmetry, so the right branch and then the left branch would match up. So this line of symmetry right here divides this graph into two identical parts. So if we were to find the equation for this line of symmetry, this would be x is equal to, that's going to be on 2. So this is the equation for the line of symmetry. So this is the equation for the line of symmetry. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So again, we have this line of symmetry for this graph would be over this side right here. So we are going to draw a broken line. And this represents the line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry. And we can test this using the patty paper. So if we were to fold this uh, patty paper through the line of symmetry, both branches, the one that's uh, on top and then the lower branch here would match up. So that means this line of symmetry actually divides this graph into two identical parts. So our equation for this is y is equal to negative 1. So this is the equation of the line of symmetry. In this example right here, there's no way that we can create a line that would divide this um, graph into two identical parts. So in this case right here, there is no line of symmetry. So I'm just going to write no line of symmetry. Let's move on to the next one right here. So we have this, uh, these are the, by the way, these points right here are actually end points, which means that they, uh, they stop there. And like for this one right here, it goes all the way to infinity. So this arrowhead tells us that it goes to infinity. This is going to infinity, but this one right here is the end point. So these are all end points right there. So the line of symmetry for this next graph right here actually is here at this uh, line right here. So then we can go ahead and verify this using, again, this uh, patty paper. So if I were to uh, match up with the original picture there, if we were to fold on the line of symmetry, then both sides would match up. So that means that um, it was divided exactly into two identical halves. So in this case right here, the equation for our line of symmetry would be x is equal to 2. So this is the equation for the line of symmetry. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. So in this case here, the line of symmetry for this uh, graph is the x-axis. So we can go ahead and draw a broken line here. And this makes sense because if we um, fold it through this line of symmetry or through the x-axis, both sides will match up. So the equation for this is, we can just go ahead and write it's the x-axis or if we have, if we want an, an actual equation for the line of symmetry, that is actually y is equal to zero. So this is the equation or the description for this uh, line of symmetry right there. Let's move on to the next one here. So um, the line of symmetry for this next picture that we have, or this next graph that we have here, there are two lines of symmetry. It's either we get this line right here. So that means if we fold through this uh, line, it will match up or it can be the other way around. So it can be this other diagonal right here. So this can also be the line of symmetry. So I can go ahead and draw that line of symmetry right there. Now we can test this using the, um, again, using the patty paper. So we have here this, um, um, I actually draw that on this patty paper. So if we were to, so they're exactly a match. So if we were to fold it on the first diagonal right here, this two sides would match up. So she can see both branch. So this branch match up with this and this branch match up with the other one on the other side. Well, if we use the other uh, line of symmetry across, they are gonna match up. So that means this branch right here will match up with the other branch here. So there are two lines of symmetry for this. So the first line of symmetry is y is equal to positive x, which is this graph or this line right here. And the other one is y equals negative x, which is this line right there. Now let's move on to the next one here. So in this last example that we have here, there is no line of symmetry, which means that we cannot uh, create a line in such a way that both sides would match up. So there's no line of symmetry for this uh, graph right here. Did you get the same answers as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!